know when you guys like buy a book because you only need like two more books two three four more books to get that free shipping yeah, i don't know why Hi friends, how's it going? What's up? I'm Summer. So today's video is going to be an unhaul video and you guys might see the books like on the side of the camera. It's all right, we're not gonna tell anyone, right? <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, so today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unhaul video and towards the end of the video or some part of the video, I'll be showing you guys like my bookshelf and like me actually getting out my books in a way, you know what I mean? Cause I have like a bookshelf situation that's like non-existent and um also yeah so i'll be showing you guys like places that i have had to put my books in and so that's another reason why i'm unhauling these books i'm actually super super excited about it i'm hot because the heat is on in my house and um it took me forever to like get these books together so i'm probably not going to go over all the synopsis in the books but i will be telling you while i'm getting rid of them hope that's good enough for you so the rules for like my unhaul <laughs> my own little rules um if i'm not gonna read it anytime soon um, if I'm not going to reread it because I love it or if I if it has no form of like deep deep meaning to me it's gotta go okay now I am a bit of a hoarder with like a lot of my stuff but like I'm at the point where yeah I'm at, I'm, I'm at that point all right so anyways let's just go ahead and get started okay so um, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. But I guess I'm going to start with this. So this is the Creative Habit, Learn It and Use It for Life. And I had to get this book for a class. And, um, yeah, I just, I like, it was a cute little book and all. But, like, I'm sure someone else will probably enjoy it that actually wants it. You know what I mean? So the next book I have is The Unhoneymooners. And it's by Christina Lauren. Um, so this book was actually my very first uh, book haul, if you guys happen to see that. But um, anyways, so this is another book that I was debating about, so I don't think I'm going to get rid of this because I actually feel like I'm going to read this. So I'm going to put it in the pal where I'm not going to get rid of it. Alright, so next book is Dear Martin. So I actually genuinely enjoyed this book. Um, I love this book. And also, while we're at it, let's go ahead and throw in Dear Justice. Um, I actually have two copies of this, so that's another reason why I'm getting rid of this one. Um, cute books. If you guys have not read them, you're missing out. Um, genuinely, really, really enjoy these, honestly. But um, I just don't want to leave them on my shelf if I'm not going to reread them. So, gotta go. All right, so next book in line is uh, Dear Haiti, Love Elaine. So, um, this book... I'm probably most likely going to get rid of just because um, I don't know if I'll read it anytime soon. I really want to give it a try since I am reading um, one of the good ones, which is by the same authors. Um, so, I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm going to think about it. Um, the next book I have is uh, Birthday, and um, this is by Meredith Razu. Ros Razu? Mm-hmm. So, um, anyways, I got this book. You know when you guys, like buy a book because you only need like two more books two three four more books to get that free shipping i think this is what actually happened with this so i don't know if i'm going to read this anytime soon so i'm sure i can give it to someone that actually wants a home for it yeah all right so next book i have is beach read and this actually might be a book that my cousin probably is going to want i actually did enjoy this book so it wasn't a book that i disliked or whatever but i'm just not going to reread this book so therefore i shouldn't be like hoarding it you know so there's that Next up is Ties That Tether. Y'all, this was actually such a good book. I thought it was like such a like a fast paced book and it was like an out of the moment type of book. Um, and so yeah, really good book, but would rather give it to someone that would reread it or just wants the chance to read it. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, the next book I have is New Kid. And so this book um, is basically like I read this for my class. It's so cool because it's like a graphic novel type of thing. So I would love to give this to a child that would really, really enjoy this or, you know, like an adult or whatever age group that would actually enjoy this. Um, yeah, I had to read it for a class. I'm probably not going to read it again. And um, so yeah, but it's a good book. It, I liked it. Next book I have is Tools of Engagement. Um, and this, of course, is by Tessa Bailey. So I have <laughs> I have gotten rid of all my Tessa Bailey books, uh, but I actually like semi enjoy her books. Like, her books are normally probably like a three star for me, three and a half, you know, type star. But I like them because they're like very fast paced. They're like dramatic. Um, they, they just have like a lot of components in it that I don't necessarily not want, you know, like I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just one of those, um, but I'm probably not going to reread this. So I'm going to give it away. 
the next book I have is Concrete Rose. And if you guys have not seen my review on Concrete Rose, literally love this book so much. I will be rereading this book. The only reason that I'm getting rid of it is because I have two copies and I don't need two copies. I have two like signed first edition copies. All right, so next book I have is A Promised Land by Barack Obama. And this in itself, my dad probably is going to want this copy. Um, I just have two copies of it and I do not need two copies of the same book. And I will eventually read this book, but oh, but you know. It's a monster it's a bit of a monster so um but yeah i definitely am looking forward to reading this book and again just giving it away because i have two copies so all right so the next books i have is a boy at war um a boy no more ah uh, and um heroes don't run okay so honestly like now that i think about it i'm probably I haven't read these yet so okay let me first explain these books were like everything to me when i was in middle school um, and I just recently, like not too long ago, like months ago, bought all of them because I found the whole like series thing and I was like, I have to get it. Um, so I have not reread it yet, but after I reread it, I might give it away and I might not because like I said, these books sent so much to me when I was younger. Um, but they're all like really short books. They're like at least like a hundred pages. Um, so I'm going to put this in the maybe pal because I might actually still want to keep this. So, all right. So the next book I have is I'm Still Here, Black, uh, dignity in a world made for whiteness so i just haven't picked this book up um and it's not a long book like it's literally less than like 200 pages um so i, I don't know i don't know this is kind of like in the maybe pal but i have had it for a good bit and i still haven't picked it up so we're we're gonna think on it all right so next book i have is turtles all the way down um and this is by john green and it just this you know i just thought about the fact that the Vault in Our Stars was taking from like a girl that I used to be best friends with and like she never gave it back to me. But there's so much stuff that I haven't heard that I never get to get back so mm, anyways. So um turns a little way down so I think I'm probably going to keep this because I haven't had the chance to read it and I definitely feel like this is something that I want to read because I was one of those girls that I literally loved. John Green, okay, uh, Finding Alaska wasn't for me but the rest of them were, or majority. So um yeah I want to give this a try for certain and it's not a long book. All right, so next I have why I'm no longer talking to white people about um, race. So I think I'm going to keep this one actually just because just because I probably will read it. And I like the fact that this author is, yeah, and it's like a short read. It's like less than 200 pages um, or over like 200 pages. I think this author is actually from um, Great Britain or some form of like England or something. She's from the UK. Let's do that. So I think it would be interesting to kind of see her perspective on race and things of that sort. Um, so I probably am going to put this in the maybe pal. I think. Okay, so now I have Allie's Pretty Little Liars, Little Tell Thing. And y'all, I have like almost every Pretty Little Liar book except for this one. Um, I don't think I'm going to read this one, so I think I'm going to go ahead. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna give this away um just because honestly I feel like I have another copy of this but um yeah I'm gonna go ahead and give this away comment down below if you guys ever used to read like the Pretty Little Liar series or whatnot so the next book I have is for and this is of course from the Divergent series um I haven't got the chance to read it yet yeah I haven't got the chance to read it yet so I probably am gonna keep it because I am one that is not giving away my Divergent collection because it just meant so much to me and I've reread it a lot um despite the fact that Insurgent wasn't really the best and Allegiance just crushed me um I still really did enjoy that series so probably not gonna give it away so I'm probably gonna add this to my collection plus I got this from a thrift store and it was only like three bucks so I'm probably going to at least give it a try to read it and then maybe maybe all right, so this is the Hazel Wood, and um, this is like almost like 400 pages, and I feel like it's like a part of a series. I probably will not read this most likely. Um, it's kind of like really dusty. How did it get dusty that quick and the rest of the books aren't dusty? Anyways, um, yeah, um, yeah, I think this is a part of like what series? Like is it like the Glove series or something? Let me know if this is worth reading, um, but I probably am going to give it away to a new home. Okay, so I have um, Infinity Sun, and this is um, the signed first edition as well, okay? I just don't think I'm going to read this, so I think I'm going to give it away because I'm not going to read it, so let's go on. All right, so then there is We Are the Ants, and I actually started reading this book um, when I was in a library, like, maybe last summer, and I was like, oh, like, I actually want to buy this book, and I didn't get it until I actually found it, like, on sale. 
Um, so I probably am going to read this again because it was quite interesting when I was reading it. So I don't think I'm going to give this away because I think I actually might read this. So. Alrighty, then I got um, Frederick Douglass, Prophet of Freedom. Um, I don't know if I'll actually even have the time to read this, if I'm going to be honest. This is like almost over like 700, 800 pages. I kind of want to give it a try. Mm, but the reality of me actually giving it a try, I'm not really sure. I am now in a history class that's like destroying me. So like, um, I don't know. I'm probably going to give it away though, I think. So the next book I'm getting rid of is With the Fire on High. And let me go ahead and get the other book I'm getting rid of too. I can get this off of here. So I'm also going to get rid of The Poet X. And I really genuinely enjoy these books so much. I read this one first. Love this one. Love it. But it's just probably not a book that I'm going to reread. But I really did love this book. Um, the Poet X. I love this one as well, of course. Um, and I, I like this one more than I like The Poet X, honestly. But I can relate to a lot of the things in The Poet X. Especially like with her mom and just like her talking about a lot of other stuff that she talks about. The next book I have is Grown by Tiffany Jackson. Um, and I notice I don't say like who the books be by. Like I never say like the author of the books. And it's just cause like when I pick up a book, like I don't say the name and then the author. I guess that's kind of disrespectful, but um, I'll do better. But anyways, um, I actually had two copies of this. My cousin has the other one and um, this one. So I'm probably just gonna give this one away in general. Like I thought it was a good book. Um, it was a book that I still think about like to this day, like in a, I wanna say negative, like it's a, a lot of stuff still grips me, you know, um, but I just probably will not reread this book. Um, but I actually did think it was a really good book. I think it, I, well, I think I gave it like a 4.5 or like something of that sort. Um, there were there was a tiny bit of issues for me you know what i mean um but it's a good book next i have song below water and i never read this book and i'm probably not going to read it but if you guys have not seen the new cover to like the second book um literally do we even deserve such greatness because the cover to that book makes me want to finish this book but um i don't think i'm actually going to read it like if i read it i probably will do like the audiobook i don't think i'll physically read it so i am going to be giving this away we're gonna stop all that so next book i have anna k love story so i just never finished this book exactly and um if i reread it or if i do finish reading it i'll probably read it on audiobook instead of a physical copy so pretty sure i'm gonna give this away next book i have is children of blood and bones i am so it's so unfortunate for me to say that i still never finished this book um, and it's crazy because I walked into Barnes & Noble and started reading this book when it first came out and I was like, I have to buy a copy. Buys a copy during, when quarantine started, had all the time in the world besides like school and stuff that was going on. And I never read it. So I think I'm going to give this away to someone that like will read it instantly. Um, I will eventually come around to reading this, but it's just, I'll probably just read it from my library or something. Yeah next book is luster a novel so um this one is actually kind of like a pretty short book it's only like 200 something pages um i picked this as like an add-on for a book of the month and i feel like i only did it because it was like it ended up being on like obama's favorite list and at least two of the books i had already read um obama had on his favorites list and i was like i won't hurt to add one more that he likes i'm probably not gonna read it so i'm just gonna go ahead and give someone else a home so there's that gotta go the next one i have is the wife upstairs so i can't give you an actual i can't even like articulate why i got this in the first place like i don't know like sometimes i feel like book of the month just be making me get books that i know i'm not gonna read <laughs> like because they're they, book of the month has books that um i do like to read and like you know i will give a chance and stuff but no explanation at all for this um also if you guys have not checked out my video on book of the month feel free to check that out so moving along all right so this close to okay um i'm pretty sure i'm gonna give this away because i don't think i'm gonna read it i've had it for quite a while now all right i have good old um the invisible life of addie larue so um i think i actually am probably gonna end up giving this copy to my cousin the only reason i'm getting rid of it is because i have another one that i feel like i'm most likely gonna read next we're moving along to girl in the mirror 
Um, I think this was a book about like some uh, yeah. twins and like the one of the twin sisters literally wanted to be her other sister so she like did something like demonic sinister-ish e probably most likely I think. Um, and so it's supposed to be like a scary story type of thing. Um, the next book is uh, Christina Lauren in A Holidays and I was supposed to read this like during Christmas and I was actually really excited to get this for book of the month um, during the Christmas time but I still never read it. So the next book I have is Met's Mexican Gothic and um, I haven't read this one and I've had this for a while. It's slightly over 300 pages. I think I am going to give this one a try so I'm going to put it like in the maybe pal. So the next book I have is Daisy Jones and the Six and um, so I really actually enjoyed um, Evelyn Hugo. Um, the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I really really enjoyed it. The chances of me actually enjoying Daisy and the Six just isn't like likely for me. I just feel like a lot of people that really enjoyed um, Evelyn Hugo um, didn't really enjoy this one as much or they either like loved it. Like there was no in between. They just didn't like it or like they loved it. The next book I have is, can I get her? Um, it's Memorial by uh, Brian Washington. Like I, I probably am not going to read it especially not at this time in life. All right, so I actually think that that was it. I think I got through all the books that I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, super, super excited for that. So, um, I, a lot, since I'm going to be giving majority of them, of them away to my thrift store or like, um, they have this thing where you can turn in books, they'll give you cash for it, or you can turn in books and they'll give you like store credit and you can buy, um, items there but only items with a yellow sticker not the ones with the green stickers okay and it'd be like the most popular it's normally like the most popular books that have um the sticker that you can buy i did want to show you guys my bookshelf so i never show my bookshelf in any of my videos mainly because none of the books that i have in my bookshelf are like current bookshelves like i have a few books that are like my favorite on my bookshelf but for the most part i keep my books just like in that little so sad. I have like a stack of books in front of my bookshelf and then I have um like a little like pile of books just like chilling in my floor and then I also have like a bin of books because I don't like for my books to get like dusty and um even though like I do frequently try to like make sure I clean my bookshelf because we like a clean bookshelf um books that I have not gotten to I don't want them just sit around and get dusty so I put all that I could in a bin thing and then yeah, so I'm actually running out of places to keep my books and my parents are going crazy because they got so many. So. Okay, guys, so I really kind of wanted to show you guys like my book setup right now and another reason why I need to get rid of a bunch of books. So I try to keep books that I need for school specifically and then I also have like a section where I keep like my notebooks for like different classes, like folders for different classes, another thing for different classes. Um, so yeah, but so all of these books are books that I've read for my school that I either um liked or you know whatever this is like my cosmetology book um yeah so all of these books right here are basically just books that i need for my classes a lot of them are not up here right now because they're on my desk because i'm having to actually read them right now all right so then i have this section of books it's not that big i'm overreacting um so like i have like my study bible um the bible i got before the study bible my little bible notebook or whatnot and then i have like the rest of these books that i am not going to read um which is a sad sad story right so this is basically where i keep my piled up books at okay next up i literally have these books just chilling in like a little corner because i had nowhere else to put them so yeah mm. so next i have this little like cardboard box mm fancy i know and i literally just keep so many of my books like up here like like sis like what are you doing um so i have so many of them there um i have tried to do this thing where i put like my hardcover books like here and then i put my soft page books here um so cute right all right so then i actually have like a literal bag of books like <laughs> literally just chilling here um so yeah it's like a whole bag of just hardcover books specifically i'm um, just chilling there so they don't get like dusty or anything and then um these are like my library books some of my library books that i have just like sitting up here like on top of something yeah 
<laughs> so lastly a place that I keep my books because my bookshelves are so full is um, here it's like basically a bin and I keep them in here because I don't want them to get dusty so um, some of these are books I've read and I love and I don't want to give away and then some of these are books that I've just recently got and haven't had the time to read them because of classes and etc in life yeah so yeah this is where I keep the rest of my books at and it's just one bin so my actual literal bookshelf is like an actual mess. So much stuff from my childhood. Um, so you guys can see like The Hunger Games. Um, you guys can see Pretty Little Liars, uh, The Click, stuff like that. So basically my bookshelf, my actual bookshelf is filled up with so many books um, from my past that I don't really read anymore. But like I don't have the guts to actually get rid of them. Not yet. Not yet.